This edition of the Weekly Ritual is dedicated to the life and music of both L.J. Petrov and Eric Labestia Morales, who both passed away this week. Rest in power. What's up, everybody? It's Keefe, and you're watching the Weekly Ritual, Ghost Cult's new show, right here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and support GhostCultMan.com, a small business. Let's get started. In case you missed it, features at Ghost Cult Magazine. We got a big week of features here this week at Ghost Cult, and we kick things off with our exclusive interview with Dale Crover of the Melvins. We talk to the legend all about their brand new album, Working With God, out now on Ipecac Records. We also talk to Raleigh, North Carolina stoner doom band Witch Tit. We talk to almost the whole band all about their brand new album, Intoxicating Lethargy. We also interviewed our friend and ghost cult photographer, Evil Rob. Evil Rob is participating in Steel Panther's awesome sex, JPEGs, and rock and roll fundraiser for some of the best photographers in the business. And you can check that live stream out with Steel Panther and Evil Rob next Monday after you check out our interview. On the podcast front, we interviewed director Jonathan McHugh all about his brand new movie, Long Live Rock which comes out this week and you don't want to miss it. This weekend is also the last chance for you to sign up for the 13-day PR and Music Marketing Challenge. I am one of the leaders of the challenge and I'll be teaching some lessons. Sign up at the link below and don't miss out. And now, the news rundown. We start this week's show off paying our respects to iconic death metal vocalist L.G. Petrov, who passed away this week at age 49 after succumbing to bile duct cancer. LG's work on the influential first three Entombed albums and his more recent work with Entombed AD will never be forgotten. Rest in power, LG. We also pour one out for the memory of Eric Labestia Morales, the legendary Puerto Rican doom and heavy metal singer died this week. We have a retrospective on our site. Eric was the frontman and leader of the influential epic doom metal band Dentesco, as well as many other heavy metal bands in Puerto Rico, such as Omen. He had a heart attack singing this past weekend in Puerto Rico, and we were devastated to learn of his loss. Rest in peace. We found out this week the final cause of death of Alexi Leho, who passed away to start 2021. The former frontman of Children of Bodom, and more recently Bodom After Midnight, did succumb in fact to liver disease and advanced illnesses due to liver disease and his hard party lifestyle. This news was shared on social media by his ex-wife Kimberly Goss, herself a famous metal singer from Synergy. We're very saddened to learn of this news and reopen some old wounds from just a couple of months ago. And we still send our sympathies out. We'll finally get the final recordings of Alexi with Bodom After Midnight this spring. The bench celebrating 50 years of Black Sabbath in Birmingham, England, is getting a spruce up. As lockdown ends and people start hitting tourist sites again in Birmingham, the Black Sabbath bench paying tribute to the metal masters has been given a spruce up and a refurbish. You can check out a video with Ghost Cult right now showing the process. Vision of Disorder frontman Tim Williams is in the news with his new side project, Rolling Coffin. He's got a new single coming soon and apparently a new EP or an album, so we're really excited about this. Vision of Disorder is one of the iconic and classic 90s hardcore and metal bands from the New York scene. We finally have some festivals and tours to look forward to in 2021. Furnace Fest in Birmingham, Alabama is coming back and it looks awesome. Under Oath, Taking Back Sunday, Killswitch Engage, Hatebreed, Andrew WK, and countless more bands in a three-day event, socially distanced and outdoors. Hopefully this thing happens, but it looks awesome. Some bands are starting to book some tour dates. Skillet has booked an entire tour of drive-in theaters. That's right, they're going to play a bunch of socially distanced gigs. Opening for Skillet will be Jordan Feliz and Colton Dixon. Good luck on the tour, guys. I hope it goes well. Do you love Mike Patton? Do you love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I do. That's right. Mike Patton, an obsessive Ninja Turtles fan, has sung the new theme song for the Ninja Turtles video game that's coming out soon. A trailer has dropped, the song is awesome, and all is right with the world. Wooden Fields, a brand new Doom supergroup, has signed to Argonauta Records and is hitting the studio for a new album later this year. The band brings together members of Angel Witch and Witchcraft and other bands, and we are super pumped for this new music because it is the season of Doom in 2021. It's a day that ends in Y, so you know we're talking about what Corey Taylor thinks, but not what he thinks, what he sings. 
Corey Taylor's got a new unplugged version of his recent single, Samantha's Gone, from his album CMFT out now on Roadrunner Records. Corey put out this acoustic version I think is actually superior to the full band version. And Corey's very busy doing stuff. He's going to be a spooky empire this spring. He's working on his new book. All things Corey, all the time. Hardcore legend Zao finally made their presence felt with their brand new single, Crotone. I think that's how you say it. Crotone? Crotone? Croton? I don't know. But anyway, it's awesome. We finally got that new Zao single for their upcoming new album. Metalcore leaders Ice Nine Kills are back in the news again. They have been super, super busy with the entire pandemic lockdown era. And they just released an awesome new merch website, Die Space, a place for fiends, a spoof on the old MySpace. It is bloody good. You know the Ice Nine Kills gang loves horror, and so of course it's very gothy and horror based. The band recently put out their DVD Blu-ray, I Heard They Kill Live, their live concert, which featured some camera work from our very own producer and director, Omar Cordy, back behind the camera today. Some more bum out news, as our pal Sam Smith of Artificial Brain suffered a house fire and lost all his belongings. Luckily him and his family made it out safe, but a GoFundMe has been launched. We found out about this from the good guys in Black Dahlia Murder who shared the news. You can donate to Sam's fundraiser at the link below and help him get back on his feet. Venomous Concept, a metal supergroup featuring members of Brutal Truth and Napalm Death, has released a new covers EP. Deep Thinking in Deep Times, featuring covers of some of their favorite songs, mainly some rock and extreme metal. Very cool. Multi-platinum grunge band Candlebox is back in the news. They will be dropping a brand new album, Wolves, this September via Pavement Music. We spoke to frontman Kevin Martin not too long ago, and he hinted that this might be the final Candlebox album. So do not sleep on Norwegian black metal band Ride is back with a brand new single and video, The Morning Red, from their upcoming record, Wild Northwest, due out this spring on Season and Its Records. Are you a fan of HBO's Westworld? I am. Do you know who did an awesome cover of the Westworld theme made famous by Ramin Djawadi, the composer? August Burns Red, that's right, the metalcore band did a cover of the Westworld theme, and it's heavy! It's so heavy and cool, they dropped a little visualizer to go with it. Check it out right now. Trivium frontman and leader Matthew Kitchy Heafy dropped his very first solo single, A Black Metal Affair. That's right, Solastain is out now on Roadrunner Records and you can watch the breathtaking video and enjoy the grim, frosty riffs and tones of his voice and guitars. Apocalyptica has teamed up with Papa Roach frontman Jacoby Shaddix for a cover of Cream's classic, In the White Room. That's right, and it's actually really good. They did a really interesting, cool take on it. It's a little bit of Apocalyptica style, a little bit of Papa Roach's rappy rap metal, and it's really good. Check it out. A Day to Remember is back with their brand new album, You're Welcome, out now on Fueled by Ramen. They dropped the new single for their video, Everything We Need, directed by Real Bear Media. Rumor has it that Rob Zombie may be directing a movie version of the beloved Munsters TV series. That's right. Rob is a huge Munsters fan, as you know. He has a song called Dracula after their car, and he is at Universal Studios for his film career, so of course they are attached to the film, and rumor has it that his wife, Sherry Moon Zombie, will be Lily Munster herself. Stay tuned, Rob's new album is out this week as well. I shit you not, unbelievable stories you can't make up. Fear does not exist in this dojo, does it? No, no sensei. sensei! Pain does not exist in this dojo, does it? No, no sensei. sensei! Defeat does not exist in this dojo, does it? No, no sensei. sensei! Before actor Tanner Buchanan was playing Johnny Lawrence's son in Cobra Kai, the TV series on Netflix and YouTube, he was in a metal band, that's right. His band Acidosis was hugely influenced by Gojira, and he apparently is a huge metal fan and a big metalhead, which goes right in line with Cobra Kai, throwing up the horns to all kinds of classic heavy metal as Johnny Lawrence is a huge fan. Yeah! And now for a look at who rules its streaming. We have Jason Christopher from Corey Taylor's band and prom. He did an awesome cover jam on his Instagram channel featuring friends of his like Shavo from System of a Down, Phil Demo of Violence, and Brandon Pertzborn of a bunch of other bands. They covered Stone Temple Pilots, classic track, Dead and Bloated, and Jason killed it on the lead vocals. Follow him on Instagram for more 
shenanigans. Last week also had the annual David Z Foundation fundraiser, which featured a bunch of covers, including two particularly awesome ones we wanted to share with you. Testament's Alex Skolnick, Anthrax's Charlie Benante, Jennifer Sella of Trans-Siberian Orchestra, Randy McStein of McStein Miniman, Mark Mengi of Metal Allegiance, Harry Waters, and more covered Stevie Nicks' classic Stop Dragging My Heart Around. Also jamming with Phil from Violence was Russell Allen of Symphony X, Sticks from Steel Panther, David Ellison of Megadeth, all to record an awesome cover of the Dokken song Tooth and Nail. This is also on Phil's Collab Jam series on YouTube. Check it out. And now, some of the music out for New Music Friday. Acid Mammoth, Acid Mammoth re-release, Under Acid Hoof, re-release, Heavy Psych Sounds, Autorot, Form in Motion, Season of Mist Records, Chez Kane, Debut, Frontiers Records, SRL, Conan, Live at Freak Valley, Napalm Records, The Crown, Royal Destroyer, Metal Blade Records, Dead Poet Society, Exclamation Point, Spine Farm Records, Enforced, Kill Grid, Century Media Records, I Hate God, A History of Nomadic Behavior, Century Media Records, Fraught, Splitting Tongues, Cursed Monk Records, Gary Hughes, Decades, and Waterside, Frontiers Records, Gizmaki, Omega Khaled, Self-Released, Isa, Queen of Broken Hearts, Frontiers Records SRL, Mariana's Rest, Fata Morgana, Napalm Records, Lord and Ogin, Final Days, AFM Recordings, Pupil Slicer, Mirrors, Prosthetic Records, Rob Zombie, The Lunar Injection Kool-Aid Eclipse Conspiracy, Nuclear Blast Records, Secret Sphere, Lifeblood, Frontiers SRL, Sleepless, Blood Libel EP, Necromantic Press, Sepulchros, Vazio, Transcending Obscurity, Thunder, All the Right Noises, BMG Records, Turbulence, Frontal, Frontiers SRL Records, Twitch of the Death Nerve, Beset by False Prophets, Comatose Records, Varmia, Bomb Lada, M Theory Records, White Void, Anti, Nuclear Blast Records, and Witch Tit, Intoxicating Lethargy, Self Released. And now for a look in our mailbag. This week's mailbag features two awesome items we got in the mail. First thing, this awesome shirt. That's right, Primitive Dog. Ethan Lee McCarthy of Primitive Man did a fundraiser to help his dog out who needs a surgery, his dog George, and he was selling this shirt. And I contributed and got this awesome shirt in my size in the mail. And it's awesome. Get well soon, George. We also got this awesome vinyl, Old Blood's Acid Doom record. You know, this was one of my favorite albums of 2020 came in a cool purple and white swirly vinyl, a signed poster, a bunch of stickers, and a whole lot of awesomeness. This album's out now on Metal Assault Records. If you made it to this part of the show, you know what time it is. It's the end. Thanks for watching. As we say every week at this juncture, it's a tough time in the world. So please, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and stay fucking metal.